Boom. Test. Mike, am I recording? Oh, yeah, I am recording. <laughs> Goku MUI drip. So, portrait of him just to the top of the chest. So, let us, let us be away. Landscape page, pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. I'm going to start with eyes. Typical Dragon Ball. Start with that W shape in the middle of the eyebrows. So we go. This sort. Of, we'll go sort of squarish today. Right, that kind of thing. I'll zoom in for you because his head is quite small. So, but that's the sort of scale we're working with. So, and then the eyebrows come out from there, and you kind of just tick out. Down like so. Square end. And then we bring it back and we get skinnier as we go down. All right, we taper it in. Down to there. Like that. Same on the other side. So check mark, tick, going back this way. Curves down the end. And then square end, and then bring it down. Like so. So a lot of this is under hair. Don't worry if they're not exactly the same. They don't have to be the exact same anyway. Okay. So, eyes, right? So, square eyes. Small line there. Longish line here. And then we just join those together. Like so. Do the same thing on the other side. Small line. Long line. And then join them together. And then his iris. Half circle just underneath the eyebrow. Serious Goku. Right? And then his pupil, the same sort of thing. Looking up under those eyebrows. Same thing over here. Half circle. Same for the pupil. Okay, he could have some frown lines just here. And then his nose, we'll go right of center. Sometimes you can go left of center, right of center, it doesn't really matter. You just do one side of his nose. So it just goes down, curves around like a sort of J sort of shape. Right, kind of like that. And then we add the shadow underneath, right? It comes down, up and across to there. So they always sort of add the shadow. And then his mouth real close to the nose, just go flat across. So that's like a pursed lip kind of thing, but we'll just curve it down the side. There. Makes him look real serious. There's a little line here actually. And then some shadow underneath the bottom lip. Cheek marks as well, you know, those um, hatching lines sort of on the cheeks. Like so. So that's his face, the features of the face, and then his chin just down here. Like in Dragon Ball Proportion, they are kind of in proportion, right? So it's like eyes to the bottom of his nose, see? or just to the tip of his nose there, is about the same as the tip of the nose to the chin. So here to here is about the same as here to here. And then bottom of the nose, this sort of bottom lip shadow is about the same as bottom lip shadow to the chin. That's like about halfway between nose and chin. And nose is about halfway between his pupil and his chin. Okay, roughly. Okay, just if you're wondering. And then you can do the jaw. Up the side, like that. 
stopping about mouth level underneath the edge of his eye, like in the eyebrow there, crossing the mouth. And it's fun drawing Dragon Ball because that's kind of nearly always the same, unless like the head is tilted or we're in a pose or something. Because about here is where you want to like change direction. So you want to like change direction for his jaw up the side of his head. Like that. Same thing over here, pretty much. This sort of wine glass shaped face, okay? So his ears and stuff are underneath his fringe for his hair, right? So he's got like those four hair fringe spikes, classic Goku, right? So we go number one. And if you draw over anything, you can just erase these lines. Two. This one kind of is the part for his hair here. And this one comes down across his eye. Back up. Next one here. Like so. So we probably should see some sideburn here. It isn't in the picture, but I'm gonna do it. So that's just my opinion. And then his ear will come out from around the sideburn. You don't have to add that sideburn if you don't want, but I'm so used to drawing these characters that that looked like it should have it there. And then ear lines inside. And then the rest of his hair. So more hair spikes, typical. Goku, right? So he's got that round shape here and he's got like four spikes. So we'll do that. So it's like just here. You know, that sort of round shape for his head. Kind of here. And then one, two, three, four on this side. And then like five maybe on that side. So these ones will be around here. Right, kind of like that. And then we got the big ones, right? So. They're kind of like shark fins, that kind of thing. They get smaller as we go down towards his ear. Right? And you, you know, you could have like one sticking off there or something. Um, oh, and texture lines. So you just go follow each sort of spike like this and just add some texture to it. You can do as much as you want. Some drawings do more, some artists do less. So, okay, I think that's enough for me. So then the drip, okay? So he's, got, he's wearing a hoodie, right? So it kind of like comes down across his chin here and they kind of crisscross one another here. So you got this kind of, like a V, just sort of here underneath his chin. And then we'll go around the back. And in here, we got some details for his neck. So neck comes down from his earlobe usually when he's facing forward, but his body is turned, right? That's the thing to remember. Big shoulder, small shoulder. So his neck will be like turned as well. So that side comes out from his ear and this from his jaw. So we've finished the sort of hoodie part, right? So we kind of we kind of like step down for the folds, right? And on this side as well. So we go. So we got these sort of bumps for the folding parts just there. Then this hoodie comes around. Like so, there's all details on this, but we'll just get the main shapes first. So the main thing to remember is that this side of his body is smaller than this side, 
about half the size because he's in his body's in what's called three quarter pose. So the center line for his chest is here, right? And when you're in three quarter, you can only see three quarters of the body, right? So you go one, two, three, and like the edge of his arm will be here, right? So this side is big. So that's his shoulder, another sort of hoodie line there. So from here to here, it will be twice the sizes from here to here, roughly, right? So let's say from there. So his other shoulder will be just sticking out much skinnier here. Okay. His body is turned away. So once you get that, we have all the details inside, right? So we've got like a line for his shoulder here. And we've got some stitching on this coming down like so. And then he has a strap that comes across his shoulder here. So it comes down. With a bag or something just coming across here. So it's like blocked on top and there's a red something here. So this is like a three dimensional sort of thing. So you gotta like do it like squares. And then this comes across this way down like so all right then we go up across down to there okay so these hang down from his hoodie all right so we've got no one hangs down behind the bag there and then they go up on string and they're just black. So we'll just go up to here. Right, like so. And there's like, they go into like a circle part. Let's say here, we can just like shade it dark. Just to show that there's a bit of shadow inside there. Okay. Lines on the hoodie. So there's like a full line here. This is like a fold line as well. And it looks like this is a zipper. And it's kind of half open, right? So from here, it goes down to there. And then there's like this zipper part. So like a box with like the zipper part kind of hanging down. And then this is kind of open here. And you can just see inside the back of it, just there. And then this zipper line will continue down to there. And it has more edge line details on it. And on this side as well. Right, and then something else on this side, kind of like that. So this bumps over that fold down to there. Like so, and then the zipper sort of part inside here as well. Like this gray section just coming down like that. Uh, right, so then more sort of fold lines. Just on, going towards his armpit. Like so. And on this side as well. So his armpit is like here. And he's got that stitching line over here as well. Right. Um, da, 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 that, that. Okay, I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything. So symbol is now writing. So he's got his training, you know, the one, I think that's what's on the back of his orange standard costume here. So you just do a circle and then there's this calligraphy sort of writing and stuff inside. So this is like normally done with a brush. So we'll just do a line down like this and we'll kind of thicken it up on top. And you just sort of do your best, kind of, you know, you're just kind of making these symbols, copying them as best you can. You don't have to get them exactly correct 
only the really hardcore sort of uh, Dragon Ball fans would even notice if it was off. And I'm sure there are hardcore Dragon Ball fans out there who are like, no, you're doing it wrong. It's like, I know, I'm doing my best. Right, something like that. And then we have some writing out here. Right, so these, and again, they're done with like calligraphy brushes. So we'll just draw them in, sort of. And we can color them black afterwards. Another one here, they're just, they just look like scribbles to me, of course. All right, and maybe like some more sort of full lines just coming through them, like that. Okay, that's everything. That's how to draw Goku Drip. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.